Should engineering education change in the context of the STEM shortfall? Let's talk about that now. Should engineering education change in the context of the STEM shortfall? Um, specifically, I want to talk about weed out classes. I remember when I attended the University of Kentucky uh, back in the early 90s, um, there was a physics 231, 232 class that was, you know, standard Newtonian physics for mechanical engineers. And a classroom of 500 people, um, and I think we had a group of, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 people actually that got out of that class and continued on in the engineering program. The reason I'm bringing that up is because that culture and that approach um, is, is still being used today, and not, not just University of Kentucky, but you see it many, many different schools across the US. And the reason why there might be justification to change that is the STEM shortfall. Um, we're looking at a short of, shortage uh, in the United States of you know, hundreds of thousands of engineers that are needed for a variety of work across engineering disciplines. So I think in the context of that issue, you know, we need to be encouraging more engineers and finding ways to help them through um, engineering programs, education programs that are out there today. I think, you know, back uh, in the 90s and maybe the early 2000s, we were, we were in an age when um, there was a lot of individual accountability for engineers. Um, you know, there are a lot of ethics questions. You know, engineers were, have been and continue to design products that um, have a lot of safety factors involved for the public. So uh, when there was a failure then, you could go back to the engineering drawing uh, and you could see which engineer's name was on the, uh, the drawing and you could go and talk to them, right? And there was a lot of, there's a lot of individual accountability. Your, your reputation could be ruined if you were not careful and a lot of people get good hurt. But I think that's changed. Um, if you look in a lot of engineering um, organizations today, uh, there's a lot of groupthink. So almost every design is thoroughly reviewed in project management and design review meetings. Um, there's a lot of, it's shifted from individual accountability to organizational accountability, um, where there's always a lot of feedback and as a group, a group of engineers in those design reviews uh, will come to conclusions. Um, so I think that has changed, and, and that changes the need to have these extreme weed out classes. Um, the safety issues are still there, but the responsibility has shifted, I think, a little bit. So that's my take. I, I do think it needs to change. It needs to enable more engineers to get through education programs, and um, that's my take. Take care. Talk soon.